connected. What's up YouTube? It's the Fulbright and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to talk about motorcycle luggage. Now one of the only disadvantages to riding a motorcycle versus a car is your inability to store as much stuff. So many of us turn to tank bags, tail bags, or backpacks to transport whatever we need to take with us. My luggage of choice has always been a tail bag over everything else. It's just easier, holds more things, and doesn't really intrude on the riding experience. Now up until now, I have been using a Cortex Super 2.0 tail bag with great results on my CBR 600RR. However, when I moved to this bike, a 2013 Triumph Street Triple, I didn't exactly love the mounting system that I was using. So I looked for an alternative. Oddly enough, I didn't have to look farther than the Triumph Accessories catalog. Now Triumph offers a tail bag, they actually call it a tail pack, that fits both the Triumph Street Triple, which I have here, or a Daytona 675. The tail pack is the same for both vehicles, it's just a mounting harness that differs between the two models. Now the cool thing about it is there are no straps or tie downs. It simply zips to the mounting harness that you get from Triumph. So let's take a look at it. The tail pack seems to be constructed of textile and rubberized plastic, like a thinner, more pliable version of thermoplastic rubber that's found in some gear. This TPR-ish material is found on the top lid and side covers with the remainder of the bag made of textile. A large, bold Triumph badge lets everyone know who made it. Even the zipper pulls have the Triumph logo cut into them. Speaking of zippers, there is a zipper on either side that will be used to attach the bag to the bike, but more on that later. The base of the bag has a rubberized feel to it, and it provides a non-slip base when it is placed on the seat, but it isn't too rough when holding it off the bike. Even though this is a tail bag, Triumph does provide straps to make it into a backpack, which I will not be doing. Mounting the bag requires the use of a harness designed for the bike. The Street Triple uses a two-piece harness that bolts underneath the seat using existing holes threaded from the factory. Two bolts that are used are existing, and the other two bolts are supplied in the kit. Once installed, there are two zippers that face up to meet the zippers that are on the bottom of the bag. To mount the bag, place it on the pillion part of the seat. Line up the zippers on each side and zip them up. That's it. The bag is now attached. It will not move forward, backward, or side to side. At the end of each zipper pull, there is a clasp that clicks into D-rings at the rear to keep the zipper closed. Good thinking on that design. Opening up the dual opposing zippers on the top exposes the main compartment. It's pretty roomy and has an interior rain cover with a locking pull string to offer some level of waterproofing. There is a second zipper that rotates around the perimeter of the bag that allows it to expand up about another inch or so, offering a bit more capacity. Even though Triumph rates this as a 10 to 15 liter bag, its size is somewhat comparable to the Cortex Super 2.0 bag that I had, which was rated at 14 to 24 liters. There is enough room to easily store a pair of shoes, a few bottles of water, or even a camera for those roadside shots. The side pockets can be used to store extra camera batteries, USB cords, or whatever you can fit in them, which is pretty decent. The front waterproof pocket could be used to quickly store your phone, GPS, wallet, documents, or whatever should you encounter a downpour. Something else that I found really useful was the ability to remove the seat without removing the tail bag, as it is essentially one piece. So what do I think? The mounting is clean and no worrying about scratches from straps. It has a decent capacity for a tail bag and the price is actually cheaper than most aftermarket tail bags. It looks like it's designed for the bike because it actually is. I will leave a link below if you'd like to purchase your own along with links for the harnesses for both a Street Triple and a Daytona. If you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my very best to answer them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you get all the latest content here on the channel. Thank you very much for watching, ride safe, and I'll see ya.
Thank you.